happened here? Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. Oh, poor rabbit. It was cruel of your handlers to send you to be trampled underfoot. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Cillian's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. You won't get away with this, Florian. <laughs> but I already have. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the Master. Justice tits, what was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Tell me everything you know. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. 
So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orle. Sticky, punchy cheesemongers. I don't know if I'm more shocked that Gaspard hired Ferelden mercenaries, or that you actually took the job. You and me both. I've had enough of Orlesians to last a lifetime. Impressively ruthless of Gaspard, if predictable. Do these people ever not stab each other in the back? Just curious. Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. the Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all fit us may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. 
Grand Duchess, stand down. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimond. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? I don't have time for your self-pity. You brought this on yourself. How perceptive. I did arrange every event of the evening, including this one. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree.